Pastor Paul Vanderclay. He has a view of religion as it relates to the secular world. Now, that just means that we don't have much religion in the secular world. And he's wondering, how is the secular world going to solve these problems that the lack of religion is providing? Right? You've probably seen people talk about the new atheist before. That's uh, Sam Harris, the new people that follow Richard Dawkins. So uh, these two people, Dr. Jim and Pastor Paul Vanderclay, they're both they're talking about the new atheists and why they think the new atheists have really kind of failed and ran out of steam. And this is relevant to the, the discussion about the secular world and the lack of religion. Up to that. And so now we'll get to the new atheists. And I tried, the first time I talked to you, I tried to describe what I thought about this, and I've got a little different twist on it now. The new atheists come up because the secular frame has become problematic. And you don't need to uh, do be an apologist for a naive view. There aren't any apologists for a naive view because it's not necessary. The world is just the way it is. <laughs> so as soon as you see an apologist, you know that the, 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 the frame has been problematized. And Jordan Peterson walks in and he's now walking into that space where the, where the, the secular frame has to some degree become problematized. I don't know who this guy is, but he seems to play with his nose a whole lot. Uh, there are very intelligent cognitivists who raise the right questions and so on, but nonetheless, and also there is a lot of bullshit not taking scientific breakthroughs seriously going in so-called continental philosophy. The big problem for me today is what I call the gap between realism and transcendental approach. On the one hand, we have scientific or realist philosophical approach, don't be afraid, I will try to uh, give thought, which simply pretends to describe reality the way it is, to put it in very simplistic terms. You forget about who you are from where you are speaking. Then we have transcendental reasoning, which is not something mystical and so on, but it's based on the simple fact that our argumentation is ultimately always circular. But in all this, all this is possible because you approached nature in a certain way, as a, as a complex cobweb of causes, effects, and so on and so on. This doesn't go by itself. So the idea is that we all approach reality from a certain perspective and we cannot ever break out of this circle well um, just in my own words i'd like to to describe the problem that the new atheists find themselves in because they might not agree that they're having fun being new atheists they might not agree that they're having a problem but here's a, here's how it goes now you find something nasty about the church, find something unruly, unbelievable about the church, and you become a new atheist. So, going to church, new atheists really find themselves. They go to church, so to speak, and they hear St. Dawkins tear into religious belief. And that usually involves tearing down some religious person. So, they get all excited and then they start putting on a, a Sam Harris podcast and then Sam Harris starts talking about his last trip on ecstasy and he starts slow talking and Sam Harris just puts him to sleep now is that a crisis? because the new atheist he finds himself it's like well am I in a movement? Are there other people? How do I practice new atheism? Do I... Am I moving along in this uh, new atheist thing? And what they find is if they're talking about 
the beliefs of new atheism they find they're using religious language and then they want to find well do other new atheists believe the same as me how do I practice new atheism and you have to wonder did God do this to the new atheists so a civic religion might just be a set of beliefs you know you believe your beliefs and the religion and everyone who is a member of a nation like the United States holds these beliefs he put, they put them into practice just to do something or other right I'll just point out that you do get a great sense of meaning when you undergo shared suffering like a transformative event that changes your your perception of the of the world changes your values changes the idea of what yourself because you define yourself in terms of what you need and what is normal the thing about the the little crisis lockdown crisis we went through is we have a new common enemy and we're kind of looking for even more enemies like in the United Kingdom well, like this week there was a, a new uh, health secretary or PR guy he became the new public enemy and they tried to cancel him just because he did one thing wrong during the crisis so we're supposed to participate in this orgy of hate towards this individual who broke the rules so going through the four P's uh, propositional would be just education about the the situation we're in you probably know a thousand little rules about the virus what will happen if you break the rules every little danger is you this is what you've been learning for the past three months procedural is simply how you're living your life right now because you were forced to be following the rules and now you've developed a new normal and you're coping with the new rules the participatory part of belief that would be the idea of cheering for caregivers you're supposed to stand out on your balcony and start clapping for all the people who are sacrificing to fight this crisis that would be the participant yeah so just to finish off my argument the point is we don't really need a religion if we have rules if we have a common enemy if we have a sense of proprietary propriety if we, if we have a sense that we need to get back to normal that's our religion we are worshiping trying to secure our state we are worshiping the people that give us rules just like socialism you might worship the means of production you might say we have to commit to the common good we have to develop a state where our workers receive the fruits of production and more fruits now we have to worship the sense of preserving our state and we have to worship idea of focusing on a new enemy and working with the new rules thanks for watching